It is Sunday morning at 1 a.m. and we are leaving for Virginia today and in typical fashion I have not started packing. I just really hate packing and for some reason I always think that if I just keep putting off I'm not gonna have to do it. When will I ever learn? Oh. All right well let's do this. Rest stop medication time. We made it to Virginia. Woohoo! I have to be super quiet because it's like 4 30 a.m. <laughs> we decided to just drive straight through. So we left probably around 6 o'clock. We got here in Virginia at 4 30. Just checked into the hotel. My mom is getting the rest of the stuff from the car. And we just changed out all the sheets and bedding as I'm allergic to the detergents that hotels use. So we always have to bring our own linens and towels and pillows. So we have a lot of stuff like that. It doesn't really help that it is pouring rain out. My poor mom is trying to love all of our stuff from the car. I would try to help her, but I would definitely just get in the way. So I'm here as the official door holder. My first appointment isn't until Tuesday, and since we decided to drive straight through, we have all of tomorrow to hopefully do something fun. Or just catch up on sleep. We'll see. Good night. Hi guys, it's Monday evening now. We didn't get to Virginia until probably about 4.30 in the morning. By the time we fell asleep, it was probably about 6.30 in the morning. So we definitely slept in a lot. We were hoping to maybe explore the area a little bit today, but unfortunately my mom really isn't feeling that well, so she went back to sleep. I decided that I wanted a little bit of fresh air, so I am just cuddled up on the patio outside of our hotel room, and I am watching Netflix and just having a chill night. Shoot, someone's smoking. Okay, never mind. Bye. Hi guys, it's now Tuesday morning. I just got out of my appointment with the TMJ specialist. He's quite pleased with how the splints are fitting, which is great. He says my jaw is still in a pretty good position with them. He just had to adjust them a little bit. But he is pretty worried about the amount of clenching I'm still doing. I try to consciously override it when I can, but it's definitely a hard habit to break. And then of course, you know, when you're sleeping, you can't control it. <laughs> but my teeth are quite sore, my jaw is locking up, I have a lot of spasms, and I'm having a lot of pain and headaches. He gave me a few topical creams to try to see if we can try to alleviate some of that pain. I don't always have the best luck with topical things just because I have really sensitive skin and I don't respond well usually to numbing agents, but hopefully this one works. If this doesn't work, then he's talking about doing injections and there's a lot of reasons why that makes me pretty nervous, so I'm going to give this a good try. He wants me to start on a routine of hypnosis slash meditation kind of thing just to try to relax some of those muscles and ligaments that are really just clamping down which I find really exciting because I love this stuff and I do a lot of kind of meditation slash hypnotism to focus on areas of pain in other parts of my body and just kind of relax and center myself and get in touch with the me inside of all of this craziness so this should be fun and hopefully it works <laughs>
Just taking a little break. This is the reality. I think this zebra is a zebra. Richmond, it has been real. I will see you in six weeks. Now on to Charlottesville. Hello guys, we made it to Charlottesville safe and sound. I'm a little bit disappointed. I was hoping that I would feel up to going to Monticello today and exploring the area, going for a bit of a walk, but I'm just so exhausted. It's been a pretty busy few days and my body is just done. We have to be at the hospital at 7 a.m. tomorrow so that they can pre-medicate me for my CT scan because I react to the dye. Uh, I'm starting steroids tonight and then tomorrow when we get there I'll take my final dose of steroids and some Benadryl. Hopefully that will keep me from having a reaction. And then after my CT scan, I will have my appointment with the surgeon. So tomorrow is going to be a very long day, and it looks like I'll just have to use today as a rest day. I know that I post a lot of photos and videos of the times that I feel well, and the times that I'm smiling and that good things are happening, because those are the things I really like to focus on. But sometimes, I think it's important to represent both sides of that and to remind people that oftentimes when we do fun things and we have outings and stuff like that, so we are borrowing energy from another day. And unfortunately, I've been doing that for a few days now and my body has just given out. Anyway, I guess all this just goes to say that you really can't tell how someone is doing or how someone is feeling by the pictures and videos that they choose to put out there. So maybe just try to be a little bit more open-minded and understanding and be happy for someone when they're able to get out and have some fun and smile. That should never be a bad thing. Good morning, guys. It's well. 6.30 a.m. and we are headed to the hospital so I can finish some of my pre-medications before I'm able to get a CT scan. Today is going to be a very long day. I just took my final dose of pre-meds and now we just have to wait an hour and then I can have my CT scan. Fingers crossed everything looks good. What do you want to say? Swollen eyes. I'm okay. Rash. All right, you can tell them later what the symptoms are, right? Okay, so I'm having a reaction to the contrast dye. So they just gave me some more IV Benadryl, and we are going to wait and see if that helps to calm down the reaction. I'm definitely exhausted now. an interesting experience. <laughs> Despite all of the pre-medication that I took for my CT scan, I still unfortunately started to have a reaction to the contrast dye. But the team was really awesome and they brought me back and they gave me some IV Benadryl. Luckily that was enough to really kind of stop the reaction. We didn't have to do any extra steroids on top of what I, I took for the pre-medication and we didn't have to use epinephrine. But I have to say it kind of worries me about what's going to happen the next time I need it since this reaction was more severe than last time. I just really wish there was a way to see the 
the blood flow without having to use contrast, but unfortunately that is our only option at this point. So we do what we gotta do. Hi guys, it is now much later in the day. I had my appointment with my neurosurgeon and then we came back to the hotel and I totally crashed. I fell asleep in my jacket and scarf and everything. <laughs> anyway, the appointment with the neurosurgeon went really well. He looked at my CT and the stent is still open. There's no narrowing. It's doing its job. He was very thrilled to hear about the different improvements I'm feeling. It was just so good to come back with good news. You know? <laughs> the staff was so sweet and a couple of them were even moved to tears to see me up and walking, which is just kind of a sweet reminder of how far I've actually come in the last six weeks. It was like I got to meet them for the first time as myself. The only thing is he did say he thinks that these really painful one-sided headaches that I've been getting are th me feeling the stent. He said with the jugular stents, unfortunately, it's usually something that you're always going to be able to feel. He said that he hopes the pain does improve as I move further from surgery, but he really doesn't know what I should be expecting. I'm hoping that I do feel some relief from that, but I have to say, even if I don't, I still think it was worth it, and I would definitely do it again in a heartbeat. I am definitely still feeling the effects of the contrast dye and, of course, the Benadryl. I feel a little bit like I got hit by a bus. So I'm just going to try to rest tonight. Hopefully I don't need any more Benadryl. It looks like my face is starting to flush again, so we will have to see. I think I am going to hook up a liter of saline and try to flush some of this contrast out of my system. But the plan is to head home tomorrow. I don't know if we are going to do the drive in one long stretch again, or if we are going to try to stop halfway through and stay for the night. I guess it all just really depends on how we feel tomorrow. Usually we kind of make up our mind when we're already driving. So hopefully I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Sometimes the best thing you can say about today is that it isn't yesterday. We are officially headed out. We are going home. Either tonight or tomorrow we will be at home. Missed my bed so much. So we made it as far as New York. We ended up stopping in Maryland just to say hi to some friends and visit some people in the hospital. So we ended up getting a very late start tonight. Now it's about 4 a.m. and we made it as far as New York before I had just absolutely had it. So we are checking into a hotel for the night and we are going to make the rest of the drive home tomorrow morning. I honestly don't know how I was able to make it through the day today, but now I have absolutely hit a wall and I cannot do any more. So I am just going to go to sleep and hope that I am feeling a bit better in the morning. Good night. Goodbye, New York. My dad decorated the house all special for us for Christmas. I am the happiest girl in the world right now.
it feels so good to be home. Thank you guys so much for coming along on another week with me. If you liked this video, please remember to give it a like and subscribe if you want to continue to see videos like this. My next upload is going to be all about my pick line. So if you guys have any questions about pick lines or my experience with them, please leave them down in the comments and hopefully I'll answer them in my next video. Goodbye for now.